New York Daily News here with the legendary Clyde Frazier at uh, his new restaurant, Clyde Frazier's Wine and Dine. Uh, it's an honor to be here with you. Thank you are you. looking uh, splendid as usual. Thank you. I'm, I'm actually percolating today. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out, huh? It's hot out. Uh... The place is, looks like it's going to be hot too. Hopefully. Yeah. Tell tell me a little about the restaurant. Uh, how did you? How did this idea come up? At the garden, I'm always meeting and greeting the fans. I've always had this love affair with them since I played. So, right. Uh, if I had to think of a, a venue that I would be in to enhance what I like to do, this this would be it. But I never thought of you know being part owner in a restaurant. And, uh, you know, obviously that's going to be a lot of work, people think, for me, but that's what I always do. When I walk the streets, people approach me about the Knicks, you know, how they're doing, autograph, taking pictures. So this is just an extension of what I already do, except that I'll be doing it now in my restaurant. A lot of times I've been dressed up. You know, I make an appearance and, and I have no place to go. <laughs> so now, so now you got a place to go. to go? Right, right. I can come to my place and be dressed up, meeting and greeting. You know, I'm actually quiet. I used to be quiet and shy. Mm. But when I got into broadcasting, they were telling me, Clyde, you, you got to be more outgoing. You got to. And I found once I got behind the mic, I was a different person. No matter what type of day I've had, once I sit down, it comes out. You know, my personality really comes out, and that's what I'm going to be doing in the restaurant. I'm going to be working this room and, and really enjoying it.